matter of seconds. Here's the most common cause of fires in the United States, unattended cooking. That's the number one leader in the number of fires. And they don't look so bad initially. Uh, someone walks away for a little while, uh, maybe to go check on the kids, watch television. Uh, some people actually run out to the, have run out to the store to get an ingredient and left food on the stove. As you see in this 13-inch cast iron skillet, I've got uh, a little bit of cooking oil. It auto-ignites uh, due to the high temperature. And then the flame grows as energy re-radiates back into the pan. It extends our combustion zone. We start to see the flames impinging on the cabinets, which are made out of a uh, uh, engineered wood product. And they start to pyrolyze. And what looks like we're in almost an empty room, a 12 by 12 room with no other furniture than what you see there, <clears throat> you say, that can't go to flashover, can it? Well, let's take a look. The flames continue to spread. The off-gassing from the cabinets are now adding to the combustion, which is allowing the flames to impinge on the ceiling. We're re-radiating so much energy back into the pan that the oil that's left in the pan is starting to do what we refer to as boil over. It's, it's bubbling and foaming and now spilling onto the surface of the, uh, the kitchen range. Our high-pressure plastic laminate on our countertops is now bubbling and popping and pyrolyzing. And now you see that we're starting to get some ghosting flames or intermittent flames in the hot gas layer as it starts to move toward the open vent, the, uh, the door. So now we'll take a look at the door and watch the vinyl flooring pyrolyze, auto-ignite, and quickly we transition to flash. <coughs> so how do the firefighters...